God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We have a uh, need for a motion for approval of the agenda. I make a motion that we approve our agenda. Support. We have a motion by Mrs. Buckley, support by Mrs. Frayer to accept the agenda as approved or as presented. Can we have a vote, please? All those in favor, say yes. Aye. Aye. Yes. 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 <laughs> those opposed? The motion passes. Uh, now we go to report of the superintendent, Mr. Weiss. Thank you. Um, first item on the agenda is the adoption of the spending reduction plan for 2007-2008 school year. And I just want to remind the board and members of the audience that uh, at this point in the school year, we are planning for the worst case scenario. Um, and we hope that our economic, our financial situation improves between now and the beginning of the 2007-2008 school year. But, um, but we don't know how that's going to go. So. Uh, it's prudent for us to plan for the worst case scenario, but again, this is a spending reduction plan and I want everybody to recognize that plans can change and if our financial situation improves over the summer, um, our intent is to add things back into our program that this plan takes out. So um, that I just wanted you to have that background information going into the vote. Okay, we have uh Motion is in order to accept the budget reduction plan. Uh, Madam President, or Mr. President, I'd like to make a motion that we accept the adoption of the spending reduction plan 2007-2008. Support. Okay, we have a motion by Ms. Frayer, support by Ms. Lanasi, uh, to accept the 0708 budget reduction plan. Are there any questions from board members? All right, then a vote would be uh, appropriate. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Nay. The motion passes four yes, one no. Amen. And now we have Item B, approval of minutes of the previous meeting. Yeah. Oh, uh, at this point, uh, Ms. Frayer will have to be excused from the meeting. She has a previous commitment. And we will then uh, continue on with the meeting from that point on. Make a motion that we approve our minutes of our regular meeting of April 23rd. Support. Thanks, April. Uh, we have a motion by Ms. Buckley, support by Mr. Kuderick, to accept the minutes uh, from the April 23, 2007 meeting. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes four to zero. Now we're at personnel actions. Mr. Clark. Thank you, Mr. Wise, members of the board. We have several personnel actions this evening. <clears throat> First personnel action is personnel recommendation, a resolution to uh, lay off teachers. A motion is needed for the Board of Education of Romulus Community Schools to accept the recommendation of the superintendent. And due to the school district's current economic situation, which necessitates a reduction in personnel, lay off the individuals as listed from their employment with, with the school district, effective August 15, 2007. Further move that the vice president of the board notify each of these individuals in writing of this action and of his or her right to appeal the board's decision to lay him or her off to the tenure commission. We need a motion. Need yes, we need a motion. Um, I support that motion. Do I need to read all this again? I don't think so. I didn't hear the last part. I need to, when I put the motion, do I need to read all of it again? No. Okay. As written. As written. Do we have support? Support. 
Is there any questions from any of the board members? Then a vote would be in order. All those in favor of the motion signify by saying yes or aye. Yes. Aye. 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 Opposed? All right, motion passes. Our second personnel uh, recommendation is a retirement. Uh, move that the board accept the retirement of Ms. Consuelo Knight, Secretary 2 with the Trans Transportation Department. Uh, Connie's uh, effective date of retirement is July 20th, 2007. I'll make the motion that we accept the retirement as the personnel department has presented to us. Mm -hmm. Support. Do we have that in our packets? Yeah, yes. we did have. I can't find one. Yeah, looks like this. Okay. It's uh, right after. It was right uh, after the. Yeah, right after the um, the layoff. The layoff, the layoff resolution. Yeah. Okay. Well. You need an extra copy. Yeah, one. Yeah. Why don't you? You know what? How about we sh let's share? And I'll get you a copy. After. Okay. We need a. Support. You need a support on that. Okay. I made the motion. I'm sorry. Who made the motion? Betty. All right. Do we have support? Support. Okay. Any questions from the board members? <clears throat> and our final personnel recommendation. Wait, we have a vote. I'm Wait, sorry. Excuse me. All right. All those in favor of the motion? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Okay. And a final recommendation is a resignation. A motion is needed by the board to accept the resignation of Ms. Sherman Spicer. Uh, Sherman is our coordinator for adult education in the early childhood program. Uh, effective date is July 31st, 2007. My motion that we accept the resignation of personnel at submitted. Do we have any questions from board members? Comment right. Sharman will be missed. She does okay. a good job with that. She'll be Seven missed. Yeah. All right. Uh, any other questions, concerns? All right. All those in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Opposed? Sorry. All right. Motion passes. Thank you. Now we're for bills for payment. It's possible. Thank you, Mr. Weiss. I am recommending the board approve the bills submitted for payment for the period April 25th through May 10th, 2007, in the amount of $762,151.01. I'll make the motion. I support it. Do we have any questions or concerns from board members? Okay, then a vote would be in order. All those in favor of the motion, say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Um, I, don't know, I guess we're back to Mr. Weiss. Okay, next in your packet you have a uh, uh, proposal for a field trip request uh, uh, for uh, Wick Elementary School to visit the Coast High Museum. I right. make a motion that we approve the field trip to Colsey and Toledo for the Wick Elementary School uh, at no cost to the district. Support. Any questions from board members? Yes, Mr. Mr. Cooter? President. Um, Mr. Weiss, I know I asked this before. Is there a way that some of these students on these field trips could come to the board and tell us what they've actually learned on some of these field trips to see if they're yeah. retaining, getting After. any? Yeah. We could we could arrange for that. Um, I guess I'd need a little bit of additional direction just so we don't have, this is a field trip that um, a number of classes, and while I know the board would like to hear from some students, I'm not sure that you want to hear from every student no, no, who visits the coast two, two or three students from the class or from the group that went, we had you know, the AP class that went to New York, things like this, mm -hmm. find out these trips are beneficial to our students. Sure, sure, we can, we can arrange that. Is that something that the board would like for yet this year, or? Something we can organize for next year so that we, you know. Let's do it for next year at least. Okay. Get on it for next year. Be nice. Any other questions or concerns? All right, then a vote is in order. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Uh, 
Yes, we're still with Mr. Weiss. Yes, we have another field trip request, and this uh, concerns uh, participation in the state final uh, track meet. And that's an overnight trip. I'll make a motion that we approve the trip, uh, overnight trip to Grand Rapids for participation in state finals. Support. Any questions from board members? Hey, one, maybe you can't answer it. Has it already be de been determined who is going, or are they still in competition as to? That's a good question, and you're right, I can't answer okay. it. Okay, I, don't I was know. just. Oh, okay, so it's not, it's not determined. Okay, I just didn't know, you know if there was 20 people going or two. And it's oh, okay, good. Thank you. Any other concerns, questions? All right, can we have a vote? Those in favor of the motion? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Okay, that, the next item on the list is uh, um, pursuant to um, a RESA board election. There is a board seat, uh, two board vacancies, I believe, um, on the RESA board. And so if you'll turn to the uh, appropriate page in your packet. Um, um, I just want to walk you through the procedure real quickly. Um, We'll fill in the top part, all the blanks, and I'm just going to read the um, recommendation from Risa. Uh, the biennial election of the board of the Wayne County Regional Educational Service Agency will be held on Monday, June 4th, 2007. The members of the Risa board will be elected by an electoral body composed of one person designated by the board of each of the constituent school districts and in accordance with section 380.614 um, parentheses two of the revised school code, this board must now adopt a resolution which designates its representatives to the electoral body and directs said representative to vote on behalf of this school board for the specific candidate uh, this board supports for each position to be filled on the RESA board, at least on the first ballot taken by the electoral body. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the board does hereby approve the designation of, now we need to elect a board member and an alternate just in case the board member can't come on June uh, the uh, 4th. Do we have any? Uh, we didn't already do this. No. 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 no this you do it almost, it seems like every year, but you do it for, you've done it before, but just not for this year. Ken, do you want to do that? Yeah, you yeah I, I can. Down I can take the alternate. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Is that the way? I, I'll fine. put in Ken's name as the representative and Tom as the alternate. Yeah, that'd be fine. So we'll read. This board does hereby approve the designation of uh, Ken Mankiewicz as the representative of this board for the electoral body and Tom Kuderick as an alternate in the event the designated representative is unable to attend. Um, which body will elect two candidates to the vacancy on the RESA board on Monday, June fourth, two thousand seven? And then this continues on the next page. Um, the designated representative is further directed to cast a vote on the first ballot on behalf of the board for candidates. And there, there are only two candidates and two vacancies. Both the candidates are incumbent, uh, James Barry and Linda Jackson. They already serve on the RESA board, and they both are running for re-election. So um, it's not going to be a real cliffhanger. Um, <coughs> All resolutions and parts of resolutions insofar as they conflict with the provisions of the resolution B and the same are hereby rescinded. Okay, and we need um, we need ayes um, all in support of uh, this as, as recommended. Ken is our member and Tom is the alternate. Say aye, please. Aye. 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 Uh, any nays? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Do we need a motion? Well, maybe. Good thing you. Sh good thing you're here. Yeah. You know. <laughs> well, Rob was kind of. I, I yeah. <laughs> good thing. Sorry. Yeah. Good Rob thing you're here too. Sorry, but I thought I didn't hear a motion. Yeah. No, we we went to the second and third page and missed the first. Ah. 
<laughs> all right, so we need a motion. You want to start all over I, again, Carl? I'd like to make a motion that Ken and Kevin oh, be the front. Okay. The, the delegate. For Thank you. Okay, wait a minute. And Tom Cooper. I can't nominate myself. Yeah. Kuderick. <laughs> motion. All right, now we need support. For support. Ken. All right, now we need a vote. All those in favor? Do we have to motion for Tom, too? Because you, you, you want to do both ones? We, we can't. Yeah. Okay. I make a motion that we uh, designate Tom Kuderick as the alternate. Oh, we're doing another yes. two separate motions yes, now? Yes, he didn't want to Okay, wait a minute. Uh, I got motion yourself. motion. All right, now Buckley for? For Tom. For and Tom. And second. And I'll support it. Yep. All right, now we need one vote to handle that I would be the designated person to vote and Tom would be the alternate. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? And motion passes. I hope Carol can figure this out. <laughs> All right, so that should take care of the recent. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the first recess item. First recess item. Right. Okay, now we have a. Now we have a second recess item, and this this one does not require an, a motion. Um, <laughs> the second is to um, is to designate someone to represent us um, at RESA. Um, in terms of electing people on the executive board, you all receive this document. Uh, big heading WCASB, um, and. Uh, we just need to designate again someone um, to represent us um, for that election, and we're not required. We're not required to send anybody, but we usually have a board member who does attend that. Well, I thought uh, this, is, this is usually the, the meetings that I go to. Yeah. yeah. Well, do okay, you still well, want to do it? Yeah. Yeah, that's no problem. Uh, it's, well, the, no, you don't need. We don't a even motion. need a motion. So just unless anybody it, has any objections, we'll just put Ken yeah. down. I'll go and do the voting. <laughs> he brings back the information pretty good. I thought Berlin was on that, Kim. He is on the RESA board, but he's oh, the not board. up for he's not, Okay. He's not up for re-election. He's on yet. Okay. All right. Now, now we're to item I, which is communications and expressions from the public. I passed you one. I have one... Uh, one uh, audience participation request is from Mr. Rob McLaughlin. Good evening. Um, just had a couple of questions. First one, uh, on the field trips, one of the field trips you just approved. It's conspicuous that you did not say at no expense to the district for the track thing. Oh, track thing? It, yeah, did. Not on the track thing. Not for the track one, no. Oh, Is that track. coming out of the athletic budget? Yes, coming out of the yes. athletic yes. budget. That's out of the athletic budget, right. Thank That's you. Correct. Next question. On the, but, on the budget reduction plan that you just approved, you're eliminating non-athletic stipends. <laughs> the way I read your MEA contract, no, we're not eliminating that. That's not correct. Uh, the spending reduction plan calls for uh, items that are highlighted. Um, we're actually put back in. Let me explain that to you. Thank if you. you. If you go to the second page, mm -hmm. uh, at the very bottom, you see where it says total. And you see that there are two values there. Yes. $2.565 million and $2.305 million. All right. Um, as a result of some um, financial changes, um, we've, we've, and I'm not going to go into length on those, we put some things back into the budget uh, that we initially took out, all right? Um, we are still going to have um, the non-athletic stipends, all right? So things like band director, sponsor of the ninth grade class, sponsor of the debate team, all those things that are listed in the teacher's contract, um, will be in operation next year, all right? That was listed originally as a very high-risk item when we took it out. And so when we, um, when we found a way to save some money elsewhere, 
that was one of the first things that was put back in. Additionally, um, you'll notice item 16, the elimination of uh, one secretary at the high school. That was, you might recall, originally that was two secretaries. That was put back in as well. Um, and the other item uh, that was put back in is item 43, kindergarten aides. Um, and that's a $200,000 reduction that was put back in at this point. I just, thank you, and thank you for the explanation because I wanted board members to make sure that they understood that non-athletic stipends meant you just eliminated your marching band, which is right. for oh, all intents me, and purposes know. part of your <laughs> yeah, no, athletic no. program. <laughs> is there still a proposal to charge a fee for those programs? Or uh, is no, everything still on the table at this point? Not at this time. There's not a proposal okay. to charge a participation okay. fee. Thank you for your time, folks. Right, that was the only audience participation I had. Now we have items of interest from the superintendent. Okay, real quickly, uh, you have newsletters um, uh, from Ron Mills Elementary, from WIC, from Corey, uh, from the middle school. Um, uh, you also have um, uh, items of interest, uh, the, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing this name correctly, the Gubachi family. Um, about a fundraiser, also a Brown family fundraiser, those informational items. Um, the new RISA planner, um, RISA puts these out, uh, I believe, twice a year, maybe three times a year. Uh, they concern professional development opportunities, primarily for teachers, but not always. A lot, there are a lot of good secretary and support staff professional development opportunities listed in here, too. Um, a particular note, this time of year, um, they always have a lot of uh, nice things in the summertime. Uh, for people to uh, to get involved in and we have a lot of teachers who are um, on the new side of the spectrum and are required to accumulate hours of professional development and uh, and also uh, accumulate um, SBCEUs um, and that's a great way to uh, to do that the district has always supported participation in RISA and even in these financial um, hard times we still want to continue to promote and support you know anyone who's participating in workshops and conferences at RISA within our limits. Um, you also have the district end of the year calendar, lots of events. Um, I know you've all been busy trying to trying to make these events. I know I have too, and as, as well as a number of my cohorts. Um, a lot of good things going on. Um, uh, also, you have the finance committee meetings and the latest newsletter from Chartwells. Next item on the agenda was the questions and or concerns of board members. Mrs. Buckley. Um, just wanted to say congratulations to the um, National, Honor Society, National Honor Society inductees. We had, I think, six from each elementary school, uh, the highest in their grade, and we also had middle school and high school. And this is the largest class we've had in a while, mm -hmm. 33 uh, inductees. And this has been over years, so we're real proud of our students. They're doing some good things. So I just wanted to make sure and congratulate them. Anyone else? Yeah, Mr. President. Mr. Cooter. Um, a couple things. One, the marching band's fundraiser for the spaghetti dinner. Uh, if you missed it, you missed uh, some good food and some good entertainment. And also, whoever put this list together, we appreciate Thank it. Thank you. All right. I think it was Carol. I no, I'm so all right, well, <laughs> Thank you pass you. that on because it really makes it nice when we have it all on one page. To remember this. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Anything else? Ms. Manasi? No, fine. Uh, I do have one, uh, one quick thing. Oh, okay. Um, I just Weiss. wanted. I just wanted to acknowledge. Uh, we had an election a short time ago for a board member, and I want to acknowledge that our newly elected board member is seated in our audience. Uh, um, this is Sandra Crowd. If you would take a moment and just stand, so I think a lot of these people already know you, but we appreciate you being here tonight. And uh, she's. I met with her last Friday. She's looking forward to serving. Um, I guess I get to speak now, and just very briefly, I would like to. Thank everyone for their cards and their flowers and their prayers and all the good things that uh, people have done for me for the last uh, month or so with my illness problem, and uh, I really appreciate it. It did, did make a big difference. Thank he's, you. And he's still above ground. Yeah, I'm still above ground. I'm still There here. was a rumor going around that he wasn't. 
Uh, last item on the agenda is the executive session. Uh, we need a motion support for going into executive session. I'd like to make a motion to go into executive session, please. Four. Four. For, for superintendent evaluation. Thank you. Four. <laughs> Buckley right. supported that. Mm -hmm. We need a roll call vote. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, Mrs. Buckley. Yes. Uh, yes. Mr. Kudrick. <coughs> Mr. McNevich. Yes. And I vote yes. A motion that we reconvene into regular session. Support. Okay, wait a minute. Buckley. Kudrick. Okay, we 45. have a 745. Mm -hmm. We have a motion to reconvene to regular session from executive session. We need a roll call vote. Okay, um, Ms. Buckley? Yes. Um, yes. Kudrick? McNevich? Yes. Lenassi? You guys. Right. So we are now at uh, regular session, and it is 746. 746. 746. I motion that we adjourn. Oh, wait a minute. Motion from Buckley. Wait a minute. Buckley and Ked Kuderick Kuderick? again? Yeah. Yep. So we have a motion by Buckley, supported by Kuderick, to adjourn the regular meeting of the Ramos Board of Education. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Okay, opposed? so that's four. Okay. Yes.